Thank you very much. Please no revisit. The Democracy Day lecture is organized as part of the 2018 Democracy Day celebrations. The guest lecturer, a professor and former chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission, held his audience spellbound about the country's political system. It can be aimed at bringing about enduring peace. His presentation centers on peace building, good governance and sustainable development. Jagger's lecture ranks Nigeria low on several count, including classifying the country as fragile state. When you compare the conduct of... On corruption, he recommends the diversification of the fight to include taking and giving of bribe, which he says is prevalent. Many of the chief executives that I have spoken with, and I know only a few, have terrible stories to tell, particularly about the issue of bribe giving and bribe taking when members of the National Assembly pursue so-called committee work and oversight responsibilities. He makes a case for increased women and youth participation and harped on what he describes as challenges that may hamper the 2019 elections, including hate speeches and the absence of electoral legal framework. The first issue of concern and a major challenge is the issue of violence. And there is no better illustration of this than what has happened in many of the recent party congresses. And really, this portend danger. If political parties cannot organize their internal elections peacefully, how can they engage with other parties with civility in the general elections? In Jager's opinion, only good democratic governance will conquer the challenges of making Nigeria more peaceful, just and inclusive. In their messages, leaders of the National Assembly call for avoidance of dictatorship and vigilance in defense of Nigeria's democracy. I am hopeful for the future, but as we do that, we should not take our democracy for granted. We must work hard, because as said, it is fragile. It is very fragile. What impedes democracies globally is the election of leaders who have dubious allegiance to democratic norms. It is the opinion of all those who spoke at this Democracy Day lecture that Nigeria does indeed have reasons to celebrate in spite of its challenges. However, the comments of the guest lecturer are comments that will generate a lot of interest in days to come, especially the allegation that the National Assembly members, some of them, are engaged in bribery and corruption. From the International Conference Center in Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.